straight away. He gives width to uh, Asgar Afghan, who clobbers it straight to backward point. As a bowler, you want to be concentrating on the business end, which is uh, where the batsman's standing, what your lengths are going to be, what your game plan's going to be. You don't want to be worrying about that front foot. And I reckon in the back of his mind, he's going to be worrying about that front foot, given what happened in the last game. Bowled four no balls in the over. The free hits went miles. It was just an absolute cluster. So uh, he's going to have that in the back of his mind. Just that little uh, gremlin sitting on his shoulder. Right. Good stuff. He's just got to make sure or try, and it's easier said than done, try and put it out of his mind and just concentrate on what he needs to do. But as mentioned, that's easier said than done sometimes. Here are the sixes from Asgar Afghan so far. Three sixes today, and that takes Kandahar to just 33 sixes in the tournament so far. That's comfortably the worst tally of any of the sides We heard Simon Helmot, the coach of Bulk, a few days ago telling us that he thought the side that hit most sixes in the tournament would probably end up being uh, the successful ones. And, uh, well, if Kandahar wanted to get anywhere in this tournament on that basis, they'll need to up that part of their game. Well, it's true to form, isn't it? You've got uh, Kandahar on the, well, the lowest sixes, and uh, they're coming bottom of the table. The rest are... Uh, are pretty good actually 64 for Paktia, Kabul 66, Bulk 56. Well, that's up in the air. Has he got enough on it? Yes, he has again, just over the fielder, but just is good enough. Another Spagiza for Ashka Afghan. Tremendous stuff, really taking the bull by the horns here. The Knights captain. It was an anxious look from him there, though. Didn't get all of that. And Zazai out on the deep backward square leg boundary. Must have thought he was in business for a second time. Now he clears his front leg. Asgar Afghan over extra cover for another Spagiza. Tremendous blow. This is striking of the highest caliber from Ashgar Afghan. He really is seeing it big. He's backing his ability, backing his ball striking, and it's coming off big time. He's been targeting the leg side, but on this occasion, gives himself a bit of room, opens the shoulders, and uh, smites it over extra cover. That's probably his best strike of the game so far. Always difficult to get the power behind those ones over the offside. That one went low and flat and uh, went a long way as well. Dot ball to end the over, but still a good one for Kandahar. 12 from it, 46 for one. Sasural Genda Pool. Smell. This mobile se aap logo se dur ho jate hai. Aur is mobile se log aap ke paas a jate hai. Fog का छोटा मोबाइल पैक जब भी चाहो परफ्यूम से नजदीकियां बढ़ा लो stuff from Ashgar Afghan team score 46 for 1 Ashgar Afghan 41 of those of just 18 deliveries and it's been the one man show really for the Kandahar Knights thus far He's uh, blitzed it to all corners of the ground. Now then, Wayne Parnell gets a second crack. First over. One for six. Now a change of ends. And he's going to bowl his second over. And this will be the fifth over. So two overs remaining in the power play. Should be a leg by. Indeed it is. So McCullum still to get off the mark. You mentioned the power play there, Alistair. Um, the night's best score in the power play was in game five. 53 for two, batting second against the Bulk Legends. Yeah, they should be able to eclipse that, particularly given the start they've got and 
the surface that we have here tonight. It's another good one. The groundsman has done a terrific job. We heard AJ Mera earlier just describe it as a uh, batting paradise. And well, Ashka Afghan has uh, taken the cue. That's pulled away on the leg side. Hasn't got all of it, but enough to get it away to the boundary for four. Another fog boundary. And Ashka Afghan marches on his merry way. Well, they're getting their length wrong here. The Kabul bowlers. Asghar Afghan, look, he's clearing his front leg. And uh, that sort of length is meat and drink, really, when he's getting into the sort of positions that he is getting into. But in all fairness, Wayne Parnell tried to correct, looking for the Yorker, just got it fractionally wrong. And Asghar Afghan climbs into that as well. Salareza, another fog boundary. He's on to 49 from just 20 balls. Oh, he's uh, backing himself uh, in the positions he's getting into. He's just giving himself a little bit of room, setting himself, going back in the crease, nice and steady when the ball's delivered. And uh, on that occasion, attempted Yorker from Wayne Parnell, able to dig it out and hit it straight of the captain, Rashid Khan, at mid-off. fastest 50 in the tournament by uh, Hazrat Zazai 12 balls and uh, well has got Afghan's going to end up on that uh, table if he gets another single which he does now what a tremendous innings from the Kandahar Knights captain his team rises to him and this is uh, leading from the front at the very best outstanding effort look at that 50 from 56 tremendous stuff he's had the lion's share of the strike but he's made the most of it and the other six extras <laughs> the batsman hasn't uh, been able to score yet sterling got naught and mccullum still on naught and this bloke ashka afghan has got 50. unbelievable stat really we've one ball away from completing the fifth over Was that off the thigh pad? I think there might have been a little bit of bat involved for uh, McCullum. Yes, there was. He's off the mark. So the first run by uh, another batsman apart from Asghar Afghan. Five gone. 57 for one. घर बैठे पैसे कमाने हैं तो बनाइए अपनी खुद की fantasy cricket team indusgames.com पर और दिखाइए अपने cricket वाली होशियारी indusgames. Black collection from Fog. Perfume body spray. Outlast the party. The shining star for the Knights has been the captain, Asghar. I've gone the ways bat at 50 of just 22 deliveries. Absolutely brilliant innings from him. Sterling could do much out uh, without scoring. McCullum, a lot will depend on him. The bat deep. But this is just the kind of start they wanted. Masginu game for them. Uh, they really need to fire up for Rashid Khan, the captain now coming into the attack. Four wickets for him so far in the APL. With me in the com box for the very first time. Good evening, Charu. Good evening, Ajay. Hope you're well rested. I certainly feel fairly well rested, and I'm sure the players out there too. I was talking to them earlier on. Uh, have enjoyed the break. Ah, from India. Thank you for watching the APL. I think that lady was one of our special fans earlier on, if I remember correctly. And, uh, but, you know, Ajay, what a start by Asghar Afghan, the skipper. And one wonders why he didn't do that earlier. Of course, the simple reason is he had uh, two international batsmen and Sterling and McCullum, and he trusted them to get off to a good start. Unfortunately, they never have been able to. And Sterling again today, uh, well, would have been devastated. What a nice shot it was. Swung it away to deep square and unfortunately just a yard or so short of the boundary got well caught so that bad run for sterling continues but great move by us have gone to come and say listen let me do this let me show you how it's done ah! probably just pitching down the leg side uh, wanting a single there refused uh, by his part a right call from Asgar. he's trying to sweep that one a very happy rashid khan well rashid's only got four wickets so far and uh, every once in a while he's gone for
for plenty. But uh, it's been 50-50. Sometimes, of course, he hasn't given much at all. Now, that is pitching on leg, and yeah, it was the wrong one, so it might have drifted away from the leg stump. You can't blame Brendan for going uh, for the big sweep. I'm presuming he <laughs> knew it was the wrong one. Now, that was a very good decision as well. Surely missing the leg stump, experience Empire, Anil Chaudhary. But yeah, I think for... Uh, Kandahar is going to be important, Charu, that even uh, McCullum fires from the other end because they need a good score. Such a good surface, this one. Match number 16. They haven't really started out well. But this man has been absolutely brilliant with the bat. 51 unbeaten. Again, the googly. And it was at pace. Asghar Afghan also missing out. He spotted it maybe a shade late. And of course, there was a fair amount of bounce as well. So another clever delivery, we'll have to say, by Rashid. In a sense, tricking Asghar. But... Uh, no toll taken by the batsman. Now they need a good spell from him because uh, runs are really coming thick and fast up front. So they need a good spell from him. Luke Ronke, of course, uh, the wicket keeper. But have a job, job to do as well with the bat. Not timing it too well. Uh, they just pick up a single to end the power play. McCullough will retain uh, strike as well. 6-2 for one. Tapen and the Kingdom made a vicious statement over the world champion. What will they have to say this week? And in the main event, four tag teams collide, showcasing the best tag team division in wrestling today. Don't this ring of honor this week. Didn't start off too well, Kandahar. They were 12 for one, but this partnership now worth 50 runs. And uh, the bulk of the scoring has been, of course, done by Asghar Afghan. He's really batted well. Uh, McCullum, just four runs so far in this partnership. Well, Ajay, I think it's just ridiculous that one batsman gets 90% of the runs, as was the case just a short while back. I think uh, 55 out of the 50. And, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, the last over that, uh, again, couldn't quite find the timing, Brendan McCullum. I think that's been the story all tournament long for him. Just unable to find the timing that he's so well known for. He's very strong, of course. Yet timing's the key, and he hasn't been able to find it. Now, will they get a single here? Laurie Evans, uh, yeah, unfortunately, feeling the ill effects of that one. I think it bounced in the shin or maybe the knee. We'll take a look at it again. Yeah, uh, He's uh, in a bit of pain there. Bad bounce, never easy, just hitting him on the knee there. That could be painful. Go, 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 now, the go, inside go. of the left knee, he's going to feel that for a while. Do they try and sneak the two? No. Brendan McCullum, of course, is a very good runner between the wickets. Still very quick, despite his uh, somewhat advancing years. But I don't think they batted long enough to know each other's athleticism and therefore refused what could have been a quick two. Just backing away there, Brendan McCullum. He's trying to dodge the bowler as well. Let's try something different. Hasn't really fired uh, McCullum so far in the uh, APL. A lot would be expected from him today. That's good stuff. Bowling within the stumps, uh, Shahzad. Again, if I'm allowed to say so, couldn't quite find the timing he was looking for, Brendan McCullum. Had plenty of strength behind him, so the cover sweeper limited it to one. But uh, no boundaries from Brendan McCullum yet. And we know that, especially in the power play time, and he had plenty of time, he can hit the ball a long way. So that's the field now, of course, in the seventh over. Five fielders outside the circle. And uh, they don't need to bother because this is another Shpagiza. Asghar Afghan <laughs> cleared his left foot. It was fairly full. Last ball of the over. And a pretty good over by Shahzad comes to a, a sad end for him. A big six straight over his head. It's 71 for one after seven. White shirts. Kitane plain or simple. Fox scent. Plain or simple white shirt ko bana de special or fashionable. Fox scent. New fashion wear for men.
start here for the Kandahar side. Uh, seven overs gone, 71 for one. Exactly what they required, hammered away. That's a good strike there from Brendan McCullum. Last ball, previous over. What a shot, stunning shot. He's been in a uh, great touch, terrific form. Asghar just backing away. Lovely uh, elevation he gets onto that one. Going sailing over the ropes. Just the previous shot that uh, McCullum got a single off was uh, perhaps one of the first shots I've seen him time well. And yet, of course, there was a field at the cover boundary, so just the one for him. But better timing for McCullum. Asghar once again thought of attacking it, but uh, well bowled by Shahidullah. Went for 11 in his first over, including that big six. Uh, swept over square leg. Went out of the stadium. I think first over, we lost a ball here. Yeah, you two can uh, create your own fantasy side, test your skills and win real gash by logging on to myteam11.com. That's going to be a wide. I think Asghar Afghan has been the almost a lone battler for his team, Kandahar Knights, and he would, I would like him in my myteam11.com. Yeah, he's uh, the national team captain as well. He's really martial his troops well. The only, I think, flaw for this side has been uh, really uh, the top batsmen, uh, the experienced campaigners really haven't come to the fore. Haven't been great touch. Asghar coming in the middle order in the previous games. He's batted well. But today, uh, deciding to open. And what a job he's done, Charu. Oh, again, trying to hit the ball hard. And Brendan McCullum completely mistiming it. No spin there, going straight through. He was lucky. He didn't play on. Yeah, trying to hit it too hard. You know, uh, it's been a struggle for him so far. Tentative as well at the crease. Good delivery. Yorker length. Decent over. It was gone. 74 for one. Man of the match ko ye milta hai. Lekin isse is tak banne mein dinon lag jate hai. Lekin 11 wickets pe game khatam hote hi instant cash. 11 wickets app download karo. Apni team banao aur jito instant cash. Foreground to the left, Phil Simmons, the national coach of uh, the Afghanistan team. Of course, we also have the pleasure of the company of the chairman of the uh, Afghanistan cricket board today, Mr. Azizullah Fazli. He should be a very happy man considering the kind of standards and potential we've seen here. Ajay, batting-wise particularly, has been fantastic. What a show. And they've got some great bowlers as well. Rashid Khan has not been among the big wickets in the league, but we know he's a world-class bowler. And, of course, many others. Uh, Shirzad has taken 10-11. Yeah, you're right, Char, because as it is, I think Afghanistan cricket has really uh, taken a big leap. The way they are playing, the way they are progressing in international cricket, playing the first test match as well uh, versus India recently. Did really well in the Asia Cup. And uh, what this uh, EPL will also do is uh, add to the bench strength. They have some uh, terrific spinners in the ranks, very good batsmen. We saw that uh, performance from uh, Hazratullah Zai getting those six sixes under his belt the other day. So really, uh, they're oozing with talent. And, of course, some of the um, overseas players have done very well, some not, sadly. But, of course, they all added to the worth of the league. And trying to bash it out of the park, but cover sweeper will only give a single. So, Brendan McCullum still <laughs> unable to find the big shots here, which is okay as long as Asghar Afghan's finding them. Otherwise, it would once again have been a, a tough start for Kandahar Knights. But Asghar Afghan making such a big difference at the top. I think the difference today, Charu, is uh, they have wickets in hand. You know, normally when uh, they are batted, uh, chasing, or uh, in the first innings, they have lost too many wickets. But today, it's a different scenario for them. They have nine, nine wickets in the left, in the bank for them, a set batsman out there in the form of the captain, Asghar. Oh. Wow, on the back foot. Has he got enough, though? Maybe not. Hazrat gets underneath. It should be an easy one. Uh, tried to pull it from way outside off stump. The ball got a little big on Asghar Afghan. And a fine knock here by the skipper comes to uh, an end here. A little too early, we think, for the Kandahar Knights. Yeah, that was good thinking from Malik. Not very happy with that. Uh, probably the willow there. Not able to time it. Uh, wanted to pull that one. He was well said. There was a man at deep wicket. And 
And now a very good catch there as well from Zai under the lights. Never easy. Not able to get the elevation or the distance he wanted. Never easy those catches under lights. Uh, but uh, Azgar Afghan, a terrific knock from him. The captain really played well for his uh, half century. Out for 60 of just 31 is 76 for 2. As the chairman of the Afghanistan Cricket Board, Mr. Azizullah Fazli, will be a very happy man. The way the Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League has progressed, that uh, creamish uh, blazer of his is having an eye on the proceedings so far. And watching the national captain bat, the way he batted, although it's not out there now, but what a half century from him would be uh, just adding another feather to his uh, cap there. Yeah, Azgar Afghan is a known commodity and uh, leads the team but as you've been saying we've all been saying it's all great to discover uh, the bench strength lots of youngsters doing so well up in the air and just over laurie evans and that might still just be one yeah, but i think good thinking from farid malik has been a touch expensive has had those issues with the no ball but this time just climbing on us not able to control it and the moment he hit it he knew he was in trouble there good catch as well from uh, Hazratullah Zazai taking it up very safely, safe as a house, and he's disappointed. Yeah, but doesn't look gutted. I think uh, he does probably think he's done the job, and hopefully the ones following him will carry on. I beg your pardon, that was Wayne Parnell over whose head that shot went last time. Just to clarify. But this is a time uh, for the left-arm seamer that he can come back because uh, McCullum hasn't been... Uh, very sure of himself with the bat so far, has struggled a bit. Decent over so far from Malik. Everybody eager to watch this man bat again. Uh, Zazai, the only centurion so far in the Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League. Uh, skipper, uh, the coach, beg your pardon, of uh, Kabul's one arm. Heat streak to the right. Are we only mildly worried they need just one more win to seal their place. Oh, yes, finally. The kind of timing that we know Brent McCullum is capable of. So, fast extra cover for uh, Salureza. And he is finally, we think, trying to show what he's capable of. Apne ya, cricket ka keeda sab ko hai. Par ab tak na, cricket ka keeda total peeda. In ki gai naukri, chai kangali. Phir in honne kiya download Team 11. Aur hui jeet ki warish. अरे सर जी एडी देखते रहोगे क्या फोन उठाओ और इंडिया का सबसे एक्साइटिंग गेम माय टीम 11 डाउनलोड करो अपने दिल की टीम बनाओ और दबा के कमाओ वो माला माला है ना माँ That's over 350 T20s thank you for Brendan McCullum experience and who will ever forget how he lit up the IPL with that uh, very first knock of his for the Kolkata team, 158 not out, just brilliant. And hasn't he lived up to that reputation all these years? Yeah, you're right, Charu. I think, uh, you know, the other day I had a chat with him and he was just mentioning that uh, he has struggled a bit and he knows that. But it's just about spending time at the crease, just occupying the crease because, uh, yes, it's T20. You've got to get after the bowling as well, but uh, just, I think, middling the ball, just confidence, uh, comes back once you just get a start 15 20 runs initially are important for a batsman Asghar Afghan has been in terrific touch for the side yeah Brendan McCallum like uh, so many from that part of the world does like pace and uh, great with the cut and with the pull but uh, maybe not similarly gifted when it comes to hitting in front of the wicket But I think what uh, Kandahar team has to do is now capitalize on the start given by the
this man. They need at least uh, 180, 180 plus on this kind of surface. Looks to be a very good one. Well, if they don't lose any more wickets after a the halfway stage which is only a couple of balls away then uh, yeah they could uh, think of getting another hundred so 180 plus on this pitch even though you say it's full of runs Ajay when you read it earlier I think will be a very very good total to uh, attempt to defend remember they went down to this team only by two runs the last time they played when they were chasing across the line he's trying to power it on the onside not timing it still uh, Brennan McCullum 14 uh, in fact 15 of 20 deliveries for him <laughs> maybe it's not the bat Baz maybe it's the the timing very good over so far by Shaibullah yeah bowling onto the field that's important impressive over from Shaibullah 10 overs gone halfway stage in this innings it's 87 for two. Black shirts. Kitane plain or simple. Fox scent. Plain or simple black shirt ko banade special or fashionable. Fox scent. New fashion wear for men. real standout performers for Kabul with the ball in the tournament so far you saw Wayne Parnell was the leading wicket taker there with uh, seven bear in mind the leading wicket takers in the tournament Isuru Adana of Paktia and Mujibur Rahman of Nangaha both have 12 wickets apiece so that again just illustrates but, uh, they haven't exactly uh, set the heather alight in terms of uh, bowling. Brendan McCullum now dispensing with the helmet. Still struggling though with his timing. Alistair Campbell alongside me again. Good evening once more, Alistair. And uh, the match very interestingly poised at the moment. Jurello. Najibullah Zadran in at number five and this is why he's here yeah trying to get a move on Brendan McCullum trying to break the shackles trying to find the boundary and all he could do was uh, hit it straight down Colin Ingram's throat right off the toe of the bat batsman crossed Najee Buller coming in um, up the order so a promotion for him as well He's batted at number seven on four occasions and number six once. Nasser Jamal will keep the strike. 11 gone, 91 for three. Sasural Genda Pool. Smell. This mobile se aap logo se dur ho jate hai. Aur is mobile se log aap ke पास आ जाते हैं। फॉग का छोटा मोबाइल पैक। जब भी चाहो, परफ्यूम से नजदीकियां बढ़ा लो। कटबॉल हिस सेकंड ओवर। इट्स बीन अ बिट एक्सपेंसिव ऑफ लेट। he could do with a decent evening with the ball. Oh. Yeah, when you're number one in the world, when uh, your star is on the rise, you've also got uh, that mark on your back as well. Everybody expects big things, expects great things, expects you to uh, be on song game in, game out. And you're right, just the uh, last few games has been expensive. Hasn't really 
been uh, the threat that uh, we all know that he can be. It all started against Kandahar when he bowled four overs for 37. And against Nangahar, four overs, one for 38. And in that uh, thrashing that his side copped against Bolk, four overs, one for 40. So three times in a row, Rashid Khan's gone at over nine runs and over, which is most un-Rashid Khan-like. And he's not been uh, picking up wickets by the bag full either, which again is uh, very unlike him. What do you think that might be, Alistair? Expensive and um, not exactly yet tearing up the trees in terms of uh, wicket-taking ability. He's mortal. Oh, yeah, the googly not picked. There's so much expected of him. He just goes into every game with everybody thinking that he's just going to run through everybody and pick up three or four wickets. Such has been his meteoric rise, and if he has a few in different games, that's okay. It happens. He needs to uh, get to, to grips with it. There's another googly, and this time it's not off the middle. It's off the top edge. And a really good piece of fielding. Fareed Malik has done a really good job in uh, hauling it back. I'm sure the third umpire will have a look at it, but I think that's a very good piece of fielding. Yes, I'm sure Bismillah Jansen Wari will uh, take a check there. I think that ball actually ended up coming off the glove. Just watching Najee Bullock checking his glove as he uh, ran the first. That looks fine to me. No problems there. Najee Bullock off the mark with those uh, two runs down to uh, third man. Good over from Rashid Khan. Just the three runs from it. 12 gone. 94 for three. अक्सर लोग मेरे बारे में कहते हैं कि वीरू किसी की नहीं सुनता गलत कहते हैं मैं अपने दिल की सुनता हूँ आप भी ना अपने दिल की करो वीरू गिरी करो फोन उठाओ और इंडिया का सबसे एक्साइटिंग गेम माय किंग इलेवन डाउनलोड करो अपने दिल की टीम बनाओ और दबा के कमाओ वो माला माला है नमा Phil Simmons in the foreground, the Afghanistan national coach. He's been an ever-present here during this Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League, powered by Fog. And it's good that uh, the Afghanistan Premier League is uh, resonating uh, not just here in the UAE and indeed back in Afghanistan, but also all around the world as well. Fareed Malik. Minister, have you reached any conclusions as to the nature of this surface yet from what you've seen in terms of what might be a par score? When Ashgar Afghan was batting, <laughs> it, was, it was 220. Uh, now that he's gone, I think that uh, it looks like uh, it's a little bit on the... slow side but still very good uh, I think minimum is uh, 160 170 um, anything below that I think is going to be very difficult to, to defend and they're in a good position 94 for three it's just the last 30 balls have been the problem 22 for two and 19 balls since the last boundary and the reason for that as well is uh, two new men at the crease Najib Buller and Jamal One's only faced 13 balls, the other four balls. They've just lost wickets at the wrong times, and the wrong people have uh, holed out. We needed a bit more of him, didn't they? Set the innings alight when he uh, opened the batting. Really flayed it to all parts. Ashka Afghan just needed him to go a bit longer, bat a bit deeper. Now then, he's been out there. I wonder what instruction he's given. You just asked the question. I'll tell you what, I reckon that's been the discussion there, and... Uh, He's probably sending out and saying, right, we've got to try and get to this figure. It's an interesting one, isn't it, when you look at what's to come for Kandahar Knights. Karim Sadiq, who's been in no sort of form at all with the bat for them. Ricky Vessels, who produced one innings, oddly enough, against uh, Kabul in his debut match. 
and Karim Janat, who of course was uh, player of the match in the last match that Kandahar uh, uh, played, that was against Nangahar, and um, he actually uh, made a quick fire 40 there. So um, there is some batting to come. There is um, Karim Sadiq, how he could do with the score. He could do with a little luck after the, <laughs> the way he got out last time as well. He's one of the great utility players, isn't he, Karim Sadiq? He's opened the bowling, opened the batting, kept wicket. He's done every possible job for his team. Oh, there we go. That's really well played. Should go all the way. Yeah, Spagiza. The fog maximum, much needed. He just uh, shimmied inside the line, did uh, Jamal, and helped it on its way. Really good piece of thinking cricket. Your fine leg was up in the circle, but uh, even if fine leg had been back, this might still have cleared him. Moving across his stumps, almost second guessed the bowler, really. Almost anticipated where Farid Malik was going to bowl that one. First 50, of course, courtesy of Asgar Afghan. Oh, dropped. And on the deep point boundary. Yeah, it went hard, but it went straight at him. He had to come in a, a wee bit. And uh, it's a man that's just come into the side. Yunus Khan Amadzai just didn't have the right technique. Seems though the fingers were pointing straight towards uh, the wicket. They weren't uh, pointing towards the ground. Technique let him down and uh, probably didn't need to uh, make that slide as well. Anyhow, there's been a reprieve. How costly will that be? Yeah, nice comeback. End of 13, 103 for three. India may important people, cricket team owners, hold they hey. So, maybe team banare ho, 11 wickets pay. Naam, Sunny Sultans, yeah. Sunny Showstoppers? Sub11wickets.com pe team bana rahe hain. Ye koi gyan nahi, gyan ki kamai hai. Yunus Khan, Ahmed Zai. A little bit of time to reflect on uh, his dropped catch out at deep point. Nasser Jamal threw the kitchen sink at it, but didn't really yet time it. And well, in the end, he barely got a hand on it. Complete misjudgment, and this <laughs> Farid Malik's uh, reaction not impressed. I think that's fairly safe to say. Rashid Khan continuing to shuffle the pack. Shahidullah now from the pavilion end. Just one over left for him. Very respectable figures for Shahidullah, considering he bowled the first over of and also considering Asghar Afghan's onslaught. <laughs> 